So I'm going to reduce the number of bounces uh, now to show you uh, how much of a speed up we can get from that. And unfortunately uh, the video capture does not really show you uh, the full frame rate for, for this. It's actually quite a bit smoother than, than what you see in the recording. Adding a few more bounces now as well. Okay, so now I've reduced the number of samples per pixel so that uh, we can get uh, somewhat faster refresh rates. Okay, so the graphics card for, for this demonstration is uh, GeForce 285. Uh, so it's not... Uh, it is a good graphics card, but, it, but it's not uh, a very expensive one. It's just a normal gaming card. Uh, and you see that we get quite a good performance out of that. Now here is uh, an interesting scene. Uh, it's a very, very old scene. It's been with V-Ray since the very beginning back when V-Ray was, uh, was in, in beta in, uh, in 2001 so again this scene is rendered with V-Ray with the radiance map and brute force global illumination exporting this now and this is a GPU render and uh, it's you can see it is practically uh, the same as the normal V-Ray rendering, but of course much, much faster. The scene is modeled by Michael Watkins. Uh, he has been he has been a V-Ray user since since the very beginning, since the first beta versions. So reducing the number of uh, samples per pixel in order to get somewhat uh, smoother frame rates. And again this is rendered entirely on the GPU. There are practically no rendering calculations taking place on the CPU. And uh, again our uh, target goal is to have all of this running in uh, OpenCL. Thanks for your time.